I said I would do a video on inflection points, so let's get an intuition on inflection points. So let me draw a graph. And let's say, I don't know, this. let me draw it a little bit neater than I did in the last video. I think I rushed through that one a little bit more than I wanted to. So let's say that that is the y-axis. That's the x-axis. And let's say my graph looks something like this. It comes down like that, and then it, and it kind of flattens out there. And we said that inflection points are another example of when the derivative equals 0. I don't know if I drew it properly here. I wanted this to flatten out a little bit. But you can take my word for it that at this point right here, the slope is flat. Maybe the, the graph looks a little bit more like that. right? If I were to draw a line that represents the slope at that point, it would look something like this. It would look something like this. right? Well, I'm trying my best. I think you get the point. Right? There's three types of places where you could have a zero slope. A minima, maxima, or an inflection point. So what what is the um, what what will the first derivative look like if at this point or around this point? Well, let's let's draw a chart and see if we can get the intuition. I'm a little bit scatterbrained today. Yesterday I recorded a video and I added wrong. Let's see. So if this is f of x, let's see if we can sketch out what f prime of x or what the derivative of this function looks like. I'm going to do it down here just because it. We can kind of follow along the same x. So let me draw the x and y axis. So let's say the y, this is the y axis again. And there's, that's, let's say that's the x axis. And I want to graph f prime of x. So f prime of x. Actually, let me erase a little bit of this. Let me erase this. I don't want this to get in the way. We care around this point. So what is the slope doing as we approach that point? Well, here, the slope is really negative, right? Say, if at that point. And then as we move arbitrarily to the right, it becomes a little bit less negative. Then here, it becomes even less negative until finally it becomes 0. So if this was. If this is if we're going to draw f prime of x at this point we said that the slope was really negative and then it becomes a little bit less negative it's getting less 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 negative and then it approaches a zero slope right there right but then what's it doing right now in the previous example when we 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 saw a concave upwards graph maybe like a parabola we saw that you know the the slope would just kept increasing right you kind of the slope just kept increasing and you'd go up that way but in this situation, the slope becomes 0. right? It keeps becoming less negative up to 0. But then what happens as you go here? It starts, the slope starts decreasing again. It's a little bit negative there, then it becomes more negative, then it becomes more negative. So the slope, the, the graph of the slope will actually look something like that. right? It starts off really negative, becomes less and less negative, becomes less and less negative. 0 at the point of inflection, that's the slope at the point of inflection. And then it becomes more negative again. So what will the second derivative of that look like? Let me draw that here. I could even draw it on, on top of that same graph, but maybe it's easier if I draw it here. What will the second derivative look like? Well, the second derivative is just the slope of the slope. right? So it's the slope of this line. So here we have a very high slope. Right, the slope is very positive there. Then it becomes a little bit less positive. Then it becomes a little bit even less positive until it becomes flat here, right? And then it becomes negative and more negative and more negative. So if this point is this point, the second derivative will look something like this, right? Back here at this value of x, let's say that this is this value of x. We have a really high slope, and the slope just becomes a little bit flatter, a little bit flatter until it gets to zero, and then it starts going negative. So the second derivative is going to look like this. It's going, to, you know, it doesn't have to be a line, but I'm kind of. This is a typical example you might see. So this would be f prime prime of x. 
Now, what is that? What is that? What can we now take away from this? Well, when you you learn your your concativity rules and all of that, you learn that if the second derivative is positive, you're concave upwards. So if f prime prime at you know whatever point at at some point a, let's say x is equal to a. If f prime of well, first of all, we know that if f prime of a is equal to zero, we know the slope is zero there, right? And that's what this horizontal represented. And so that tells us that it's either an inflection point, a maximum point, or a minimum point, right? And then we learned in the previous video that if your second derivative at a is greater than zero, then you're concave upward. And you might want to review that, that video, or actually just draw it and think about it for yourself. I don't want you to take any of this uh, for granted. It's, it's the, the, the value of learning this is to get the intuition, not to memorize these rules. And we also learned that if f prime prime of a is negative, that we're going concave downwards. And now this example. What is f prime, if this was a right here, what's f prime prime of a in this example? Well, this is a right here. Well, it's 0, right? Because as you see, the, the, the graph of the slope flattens out here. It starts going negative again here. So we know that if the second derivative at a, at a, well, if the first derivative at a point is 0, it's either a maximum, a minimum, or an inflection point. And if we know that if the second derivative is also 0, that it's definitely an inflection point. So really, that's the intuition behind all of you know the maximum and minimum problems that you'll you'll see in in your in your first semester calculus course and uh now i i hope you have the intuition and we can do some problems see you in the next video